Yo. So people normally either start their bone breaks from a uh, finger grab, where they start, like, this probably pretty much gives them the most, like, loose, most extension when it comes to bone breaking. They bring it back through there, or either they'll start with a wrist, where it will give you more of an angle with the hand to do either bone breaks like that. And then they have the elbow grab, which is the last position. They bring it out like this, where it just shows from the forearm to the fingertip. So you could do like more like waves and stuff like that. With the, you know. That arm is pretty much, you know, any movement where you let your arm rest over the back of the neck and give you the movement where you could do stuff like this. But, you know, a lot of people use the, the elbow grab to stretch to that arm. Well, when they grab the elbow and just pull the arm down. You feel the stretch more in like under the, the armpit, going up to like the shoulder itself. Like, you feel, this one like so much somewhat come out the, what you call it, the, the socket a little bit. And you feel the stretch in this arm under here. thing about Tutton is like Tutton was, well when they created it into Connects it was like something where people just did it and when we added bone break into the flexing style it was just like alright let's combine the two elements together so people do stuff where they bone break and they have the hand so they're able to do stuff where it's like still connecting even though they bone breaking. Too. Exactly. It's it's something new because if somebody sees bone breaking, it's already new to them. And then it's like bone breaking and tut, and it's just like the icing on the cake. This is my second time to London. Last time I was here, I was here with uh, Madonna. We was on the, the world tour, the MDNA tour. I think everywhere that I have been in life, I've been because of this. Before I went on tour, I always did like, you know, little competitions here and there overseas. To see that before even going on tour, it was like already expanding my mind to like different dance styles rather than the dance style in which I dance. So it was like, okay, now that I went on tour, it was like, okay, the world is way bigger than the city of Brooklyn, you know? So it's like, I'm gonna take what I have and give it to y'all. And then as well as, you know, me taking in things from different places, you know, expanding my style, you know? Just giving myself more vocabulary on like dance moves and whatnot when it comes to hip hop dance. Flexes in different countries, when they, when they see the dance style, like, of course, like, it, it was trapped in Brooklyn for a long time, so now that we're getting the chance to actually, like, come out and come to different countries and they see us in person, like, they're pretty much paying a lot of homage. From what I see now, it's not just something that is, like, evolving just in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's taking it to another level. I mean, I know these are, like, pretty much the beginning portions of the, the bone break when I started, but now it's like these guys find new ways of doing everything. Two dollars from Next Level Squad, Gas Mask Mob. I know y'all seen the Subway video, React Films, shout out to y'all. Be looking on the lookout for that breaking convention performance and as well as the, the new React video.